All right, Wolfram, and we're going to look at a new <coughs> possibility, which is called fit. Okay, so we're going to fit a line. So la last time we just looked at um, creating our own equation, and um, this is one where we can um, ask uh, Wolfram to find a line for us. And our first thing is we create some data pairs. So we're trying to create a correlation. And remember what we do. So basically we're saying, one, uh, that we're, we're going to put in values 1 through 20, and um, maybe we'll make it greater than 1 to 20, 1 to 40. <clears throat> and what we then do is say, instead of just having it be a linear relationship times 2, we add a little bit of randomness. Okay, so, and we do the randomness by adding a number between minus 2 and 2. Okay, so, for example, when you put in a 5, you'll get 10 <clears throat> plus or minus 2. When you put in uh, 15, you'll get 30, plus or minus 2. So let's run this and see what we get. Okay, so we do a shift enter. Okay, and so let's look at 15. So 15 is a little bit bigger. It's plus 1.2. Uh, and if we also have minus, right? So 16 is a little bit 8. Should be 16, but it's a little bit less. So we see that randomness introduced. Okay, and then we say, okay, let's look at what kind of pairs we got. And so we go up to 40, and we notice it's not exactly a straight line because of that randomness we introduced. And then we say, okay, let's make a line that fits those. Okay, so we say, let's try and model it via. And, and when we do that, uh, <clears throat> the Wolfram comes up with an equation. So it fits the line for us. We don't have to guess. And so it has an intercept and a slope. So now we say, all right, let's try it, and we'll change it so we add it up to 40 now. So we say, okay, we're going to do it up to 40. And we'll put that in. Say, so look, so the line, <clears throat> the line is pretty close, right? And let's see if we can make this a little bigger. So we, yeah, sorry. So we say, okay, now we'll go our line of thing. And if you look at this, so what did we do is we created a, you know, close to a linear relationship with a little bit of wobble from the randomness. So now we say, let's create with the intercept. So instead of saying just two times the index that comes in, so 1 through 20 or 1 through 40, let's, let's have it have an added to it. So we're going to have everything starts at 10. Okay, So 10 plus 2 times whatever your index is. Okay, so we try that. And now <clears throat> we say, OK. When we look at it, we're going to get a line that looks <clears throat> okay, very similar, but it's raised up 10, right? So what we've done is we said we're not going to start at 0, 0. We're going to start at 0, 10. So we have an intercept that's around 10. And so now we say, okay, let's try and fit that. And so we say, let's, let's do the calculation. So fit the, the data pairs with intercept. And so Wolfram is smart. It says, oh, it looks like your intercept's around 10. Not exactly 10, right, because it's trying to fit to the data, which had that little bit of randomness in it. Okay. <clears throat> and so we look and see we didn't introduce very much randomness, right, so it's there. Well, what could you do is you could introduce a little bit more randomness. Okay, so let's go back up, and let's say minus 5 to plus 5. In other words, we're going to do 10 plus double our index, so we're going from 1 to 40, but we're going to have plus or minus 5. Okay, So now we get a little bit more variation. And so when we, we look at, so look at how our numbers now have a little bit more variation, and we can even do a little bit more if you want it. Okay? And so now we, we try and do our, our line that fits it. Ah, and now we get a slope of 7, right? So so the data, we're enough off that we got a little bit of a different line. Okay, <clears throat> And you can see now that we still have the same trend, right? There's a relationship, but our line is not going as quite as close to the points because the points vary a lot more. Now, let's see if we can do it with the parabola. So we're going we're gonna to say, well, what if we say, oh, no, it's, it's a relationship that has a squared term. And... We try and do it, right? And we say, okay, let's show that parabola. Okay. 
And maybe we'll just go up to 100. We'll say, show us the parabola. And what happens is you show the parabola, and it seems like a straight line, right? So then we say, well, what if we go up to 200? Okay, and you say, oh, I know, something's going wrong here, so do I have to go even further before we start seeing the curve in the line? So we try 400, maybe we're starting to see a little curve, go up to 600. Yeah, so you can see I clearly don't know what I'm doing here. So the, uh, with the parabola, you don't have to worry about that, I guess. So <clears throat> we'll try the list plot, and we're seeing that. I should stick to what I know, okay. So, and in the exercise, we'll just work on the line. All right, so, and then I will come back and I will show you the parallel. But for right now, the idea is we're going to use fit, and we're going to do that. So I'll give you an exercise to do and have you try and fit that in. So that's all for now.